this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In today's video, I'm covering example 3 from section 5-3 in the Savas Realized Algebra 2 textbook. The goal of today's example is to rewrite radical functions to identify the transformations. Now recall, in order to see the transformations of a function, it has to be written in this form, where we have no number in front of the x and you know you, you kind of just have this layout I should say I, I'm trying to get them to look like this okay now in this problem in all of these problems there's a number in front of X and so we have to manipulate our radicals to remove that number from being in front of X all right these are generally going to turn into some kind of a value so let me show you how so here for part a We've already learned how to simplify radicals. Like you guys know that the square root of 9 is 3, so I can actually pull that 3 out. And now you can see that there is a vertical stretch here. But what about in a case like here with B, where there's some kind of addition inside the radical? Because I can only do this trick where I pull numbers out of the radical if things are being multiplied. So what's going to happen is I'm going to need to create some kind of multiplication inside this radical. And we do that using factoring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor a 4 out of everything that's in this radical. Alright, so 4x divided by 4 is x. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. You don't have to do it to the 7 because the 7 is not in the radical. Well, so now I could break this apart right here between the 4 and the x plus 4. All right. So the square root of 4 is 2. And the x plus 4 stays inside. And now this is written in, this, in our transformation form. So you could see here you have a vertical stretch by 2. Here you have a translation left by 4. And here you have a translation up by 7. Now these ones are pretty user friendly. Um, Savas suddenly pops into the triads with kind of some fire, y'all. <laughs> they came at these these triads, and I was like, "Wow, all right, these are these are a bit different from the the main part." Now the process is still the same. Okay, all that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the number in front of x and divide it out. All right, so I'm taking the seven and dividing it from all this stuff. So 7x divided by 7 is x, and 3.5 divided by 7 is 1 half. Now when I go to split this, all right, understand that it's okay if your a value isn't a whole number. So here my a is irrational, right? It's the square root of 7, but that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no specific rule saying that A can't be an irrational number. It's just it's just weird, though, and it makes people uncomfortable. So this here, the square root of 7, is somewhere between 2 and 3. So that's going to be a vertical stretch. All right, the minus 1 half is a translation to the right by 1 half. And that 10 is a translation down by 10. All right, so we're just splitting it apart there. And it, it looks funky, but it is what it is. And here, it's, it's a little less of a pain in the neck because there's not any addition or subtraction in the grouping symbol. However, there is an A value already out in front there, so, so kids get a little confused. But the process is going to be the same. Okay, I'm going to break apart that 12. Uh, 12 is uh, 3 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. Alright, now 
I can pull that pair of twos out. And so I'm going to take it out and times it to that negative two. So that's going to turn into a negative four. And then I have that root three still. And I'm just going to put the x in its own radical there. All right. So now my a value, oh, I should do that in another color so you guys can see it's not splitting of the problem. So that a value is negative 4 root 3, and that has two jobs, right? Because a is negative, you have a vertical reflection. And then 4 root 3 is bigger than 1, so you have a vertical stretch as well. And then this plus 4 is um, going to translate up by 4. So there we have it. That is how to rewrite radical functions to identify their transformations. Until next time.